Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. How to sell directly on Pinterest. Facebook and Instagram are not the only social networks suitable for advertising. Did you know that 93% of active users use Pinterest to plan purchases? In this video, we'll talk about the most effective pin types you can use to attract buyers. I will also share tips on how to sell on Pinterest. If you know how to sell on Pinterest, you can get great results. Pinterest doesn't have as many users as Facebook. However, Pinterest users are more likely to buy the stuff they see in their feet. In other words, they tend to convert better. Besides, Pinterest is geared towards visual content, which is great for businesses selling clothes, accessories, and similar things. Now let's start with the types of pins available to you, because pins are what the social media is based on. Then we will discuss how to set up your account for the maximum result. And after that, we will take a look at what Pinterest found in their research about how to be successful on the platform. Bridge pins were designed specifically for business purposes. When you create such a pin, you can provide extra information about the product, such as price, material, availability, and etc. So these pins work like tiny product pages. They are free and they automatically show up in the feed of your followers. As I mentioned, Pinterest users often browse the social platform to find stuff to buy. Pinterest created buyable pins for precisely this reason. And like other pins, these have a buy button so that users can purchase the item right away. Unfortunately, this feature only works for you as residents. The easiest way to create buyable pins is through the Pinterest Safe browser extension. If you want to reach a wider audience, get new followers, and raise sales, use promoted pins. They are a great tool for attracting Pinterest users to your account or website. Besides, they are quite easy to set up. Instagram lets you add price tags to your post, as you may have seen. You can add the same thing on Pinterest with Shop the Look pins. With these pins, you can share attractive pictures and sell your products without irritating users. They typically generate twice as many clicks as regular pins, so make sure to use them to the fullest. These are the most useful pin types for online business. However, if you've been in e-commerce for long enough, you probably already know that advertising alone is not enough to really drive sales. Here are a few tips on how to sell on Pinterest more efficiently. First of all, if you want to sell on Pinterest, make sure you have a business account, not a personal one. Having a business account will give you access to more specific features that you'll need as a dropshipping entrepreneur such as analytics. It will give you an opportunity to link your store to the account, which is important if you plan to use all the wonderful features we mentioned before. If you already started your store's account as a personal one, don't worry, it's easy to convert it into a business account. Make sure to optimize your account's bio, place your store's logo as the profile photo, and provide contact information so your customers can find it easily. Once these things are done and your account is ready, you should claim your website. Pinterest offers a simple step-by-step -step guide, which you can Google easily. It's also important to be active on Pinterest. To make the most out of your presence on the platform, make a content plan and always prepare for seasonal events in advance. As Pinterest researchers say, properly timed posts can raise your sales up by 20%. Pinterest itself recommends making at least one post a day. Moreover, you should try to interact with other people, comment on other accounts' pins, flipping other users' pins, and so on. Do everything you can to be noticed. Post often and regularly. If that sounds like too much effort, consider automating the posting process. You can use various scheduling and promoting tools to make posting easier. Don't ignore these tools. They are lifesavers in many situations. Our next tip for how to sell on Pinterest is to create your own boards. Simply making attractive pins isn't enough. You want people to follow you. Pinterest was created as a kind of online scrapbook and its users like organization. In order to attract followers, create unique content and organize it into boards. Another way to attract followers and potential buyers on Pinterest is to help them find you. Pinterest is often called a visual search engine and SEO works for it too. Use any keyword planner to find proper keywords and place them in your pins. If you're not sure how to integrate these keywords into text only, I'm happy to say that there are lots of alternative options as well. Title, description, hashtags, text overlay, URL text, and alt text are also options. The same goes for your profile description and even the names of the boards you create. But don't overdo it. They say high traffic pins include between 5 and 10 keywords and about 3 to 5 hashtags, not more. Here's another tip for how to sell on Pinterest. 
Instead of focusing purely on selling, try engaging with your customers. Don't be pushy. Don't try to sell in all your messages. Instead, mix commercial and non-commercial content in your boards and interactions. Also pay attention to Pinterest gift tab. It's an innovative drop-down menu that gives users the opportunity to search for gifts at fixed prices. It's very simple to join this list. Just add a price tag to the product description and you'll be added to the list automatically. As you know, Pinterest is a visual platform. This means that above all else, you need to be sure that your pins look appealing and inspire your potential customers to click. You can achieve this by using high-quality photography and beautifully designed graphics. Use image sizes that are familiar to Pinterest users. Play with fonts and colors to draw attention to particular parts of your pins. And finally, use graphics to match your branding. These are the minimum requirements to make your content look professional. We'll show you a few examples of high-quality pins that illustrate what we mean. You can create a beautiful branded pin like this one that draws users in and tempt them to click on. Save and purchase what you're promoting. A perfect way to stand out is to take professional pictures of your product, like Moschino did for their new collection. Or you can simply post stunning photos of your products and include all the necessary information. And that's it! Before we end this video, start your e-com store in 10 minutes flat. Create your own high converting e-com store in just a few clicks and sell anything, anywhere. One hundreds of ready-made plug-and-play templates. Easy to use, no-code e-com store builder. Dozens of payment gateways from around the world. Sell anywhere without restrictions. No profit sharing or charges per order. Create breathtaking sale pages for your products. Powerful analytics in built and a lot more. Shop Finals is all you need to set up your e-com store. So what are you waiting for? Get Shop Finals now. Just go to getshopfinals.in. I hope you find this video helpful. And thanks for watching.